was lost, I was lost without any direction. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Ashley. And in today's extreme closet declutter and organize, we are going to be tackling this small closet, which is kind of our catch-all area. It is where the kids put all their arts and crafts and my vacuum, as well as the dog cage. A little bit of everything goes into this closet. We are running out of storage areas, so this seems to be the catch-all. So we are gonna tackle this closet, get it decluttered and organized. I really hope this video brings you guys some motivation to get something decluttered and organized in your house. And if you are new here, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and join my YouTube family. I would love to have you here. And let me know what you guys are doing while watching my video. Are you tackling something on your to-do list or are you watching and then getting motivated to go do something afterwards? I know I make mistakes It's just the way I am That's why you have to know First things first, we have to pull everything out of this closet so we can see what we are working with. Since this is such a small space, I decided to pull everything out into our little foyer area so I could go through it and I was blown away with how nasty everything was in there, but that is okay. This is real life, real messes, and I wanna show you guys that we all have those areas that we often put off and neglect, but I hope this brings you the motivation to tackle one of those areas and get it cleaned up The question for the day is, what is your absolute favorite cleaning product? If you could only pick one to clean with for the rest of your life, what would it be? I would love to know. And you guys, the answer to that for me is probably the method cleaner in the almond scent, the wood cleaner. It just smells like heaven to me. What is your guys' answer? This California weather, it's like 90 degrees. It's making me hot and he has the same effect on me. It's just something about the way that he's making me feel like... You guys, look at all the stuff I brought out of the closet in one tiny closet. Oh my goodness. So we are going to go through all of this and get rid of majority of it because none of it hardly gets used and I still have to clean up there. That printer doesn't even work. I don't know why we still have it. I need to throw that out and then we just have a few things up there. Definitely just need to throw away that printer. But we're gonna focus on these. We're gonna get these cleaned up, get the floor cleaned and tackle all this definitely going to get it decluttered. Move a little closer without letting him see. My hands are shaking from the urge of being with him. I act a little dumber when I try to get his number. I'm so nervous that I'm losing grip of myself. Ah, my body's giving up on me. Cause I don't know what to do with my fingertips. Ah, I want to run him through his hair, but don't stare. I get a little saucer when I see him I couldn't hit him even if I tried Am I a little crazy to believe that I could wake up with him by my side I know I could get his attention if I worked it all out And we got a little tipsy on a Saturday night Yeah, I want him and I need him He's got a one-way, one-way, one-way Take it to my heart, heart, heart. 
These shelves are so scuffed up now just from all of the bins and stuff that were in there. Unfortunately, I ran out of my magic eraser, but as soon as I pick up my magic eraser, I'm going to come back in here and scrub off all of the stains. I highly recommend the magic eraser. If you guys haven't tried it, it works so well at getting scuff marks and stains, especially off of wood and walls. So I will be picking up some of those very soon, but I did go in vacuum out every single shelf and wiped it down with my Method wood cleaner. I also have the Method cleaner in my little Swiffer mop thing over here. This is the Lidman mop. It works just like a Swiffer, but this one is even better because you can wash the pad and reuse it and use your own spray, which saves a lot of money in the long run. to be the one you can trust I feel so useless cause I let you down I hope there's some way I can make it alright cause I know that you deserve much more than this now that we have the closet nice and cleaned out we are gonna go through everything that was in there and get rid of the stuff that my kids don't use one of my good YouTube friends, Sam Radiki, she is all about decluttering and getting rid of things and being minimal. And that is what I am trying to do as well. And what she likes to say is if you haven't used it in six months, then most likely you don't need it. So that was what I was thinking as I was going through everything. What have my kids not touched in over six months or something that I know they will not use. So I went through and found a lot of things that were already full like these drawing pads coloring books there was no pages left in them so i simply just threw those out and saved the ones that had lots of pages left over and i made one bin just for all of the coloring books and then i made another one for all of the learning books and i have mentioned before i am going to be starting this new system where i have my kids do chores by pulling popsicle sticks and they will be color coded and not only do i want them to do chores but i'm also going to have one for when they say they're bored and one of the things i'm going to have them do is pull a stick and they're actually going to have to get a page out of one of the learning books when they're bored so that is one of the goals i'm going to be making those chore sticks very soon so i'll be sharing all of that with you guys but i'm super excited to start implementing that because I'm really trying to get them off of their iPads. They love playing on them, but I know they shouldn't be staring at a screen all day. So I'm hoping this is gonna help get them off and give them something to do every time they say they're bored. You guys have no idea how overwhelmed I felt when I pulled everything out and realized how much I had shoved into this closet. There were so many moments where I just sat there and stared like, where do I start? But just know that you are not alone when you start feeling super overwhelmed. Just take a step back, calm down, and start in one spot. Just pick one little area and get started and once you get that momentum going you start feeling a little better about it less anxious and more motivated because i know once i pulled everything out i was really second guessing my decision on cleaning this closet but just know that you can do it even if you start one shelf at a time 
five to 10 minutes at a time. As long as you are working towards your goal, you will get there, you will get that area decluttered and we can do this together. And I really hope this is helping you guys get motivated to tackle somewhere that is quite overwhelming to you as well because I seriously put off this closet for so long. I bought those pink bins so long ago, at least a month and a half ago, and I said I was going to organize this closet, but I kept putting it off. But you guys, it seriously feels amazing to be getting this done. So get to that area you've been putting off and get it organized. So I want to get this decluttered and hopefully find some fall decorations for it, but I'm thinking I can move this little charging station into the closet since they do have an outlet. As you guys can see, Ethan is awake from his nap, so I was in hustle mode now because he was trying to get everything that I was picking up, so I was starting to move quick. And as you can see on this little area right here, I also have some hooks and stuff. I plan on organizing the garage really soon. I'm not sure if I'm gonna record that or not, so let me know if that's something you would be interested in seeing me do is organizing my garage. It is such a mess, but I bought some hooks to go in there. So let me know if that's something y'all would like to see. And now I am touching the baseboards because they were so gross. They had so much dust on them. And just so y'all know, I know you see that I put the dog cage in the closet, but Yoda is hardly ever in his cage. That's mainly an area for him to go to if I have company over that don't really want a dog jumping at their feet. Yoda is super hyper, so for some people, especially for elderly people, you know, I like to pick him up. So that is why his cage is in the closet, just so you guys know. I don't keep my dog locked away in the closet. All right, we finally got all of this organized. I'm gonna start at the bottom. In this big bin, we have the construction paper, all the copy paper for our printer. We have resume paper. These are just some extra things for a desk, like a pencil holder and paper holder. We have a punch holder, and then these clipboards take up so much space, so I stuck them in there. That way it's more neatly organized. Then at the bottom, I have this little bin full of chargers. This goes with my little um, robot vacuum, and then I have the charger for it. This is the kid's Bluetooth speaker. 
And then this is the hoverboard charger. We use all those often, so we're gonna leave those close by. And then we have our handheld vacuum. In here are the dry erase boards. And this is like a little addition game. And then a little pencil pouch. An extra little empty container. This bin is all of the coloring books. This bin is all of the learning books. And then these are all of our extra pencils. The school asked for so many and the kids opened them up and they didn't need them. So now we just have tons of pencils and a few highlighters. Next shelf, we have, this is kind of like an arts and crafts bin. We have Play-Doh, we have Austin's little alphabet numbers, glue, all of that kind of stuff. This is Adrian's little paint set. So I'm not gonna throw that out cause she bought that with like her birthday money one time. These are Aubrey's favorite markers, a uh, Who markers. So we got those in their pouch. I have my Kindle charger right here. So that is perfect spot. Then we have a bin for all of the extra glue sticks. We have tons of glue sticks that the kids ended up not needing for school. We have color pencils in there and we have paint and we have some tape that they requested at the school that they didn't need. <laughs> so, and then in here we have some scissors, uh, flashcards, and then these are their chore sticks. I'm gonna be doing those really soon. I will be sharing that. And then we have crayons down at the bottom. We have dry erase markers. And then these are the kids like gel pens. And then up here, I have all of my attachments for my vacuum. And then this is my bin that I keep all of my um, camera stuff in there, like my small tripod and stuff and my memory cards. Up there are my old, my old camera that I don't really use, but I don't wanna get rid of. And then right here is my extra ink for my new printer. And then I used to make like um, soaps and uh, lotions and stuff like that. So those are just some extra containers and stuff for that. That is the box for my robot vacuum. Those are some extra bags for when we need to keep things cold. And then we have the cat carrier and a picnic basket. I ended up throwing away one and a half bags of trash from the closet. So it felt so good to get this decluttered and organized that I felt so motivated. I went ahead and fixed up this little area where I used to have the Kindles charging. I wanted it to look less cluttered. So I removed that and dusted the top a little more with my e-cloth. I am still in love with this for dusting. It has definitely made me more excited to dust my house. If you guys haven't seen them before, I do have them linked in the description below. And I'm gonna go ahead and get some essential oils going, get the house smelling good. And you guys, I was so motivated. I went ahead and wiped down my laundry room area and we ended up decluttering my girl's bedroom. You guys, it was a complete disaster. So if you guys are interested in seeing an extreme bedroom declutter, then stay tuned for Monday at 9 a.m. Central. I will be bringing all of the motivation to get your kid's bedroom decluttered. It is a huge transformation. I'm super excited to share that with you guys. I didn't want this video to be too long. That's why I decided to just wait and put it into the next video. So I hope you guys come back to check that video out. Once again, it will be posting at 9 a.m. Central. So be sure to have your bell notification on so you don't miss that. This is going to conclude all of the organization and decluttering motivation for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it and got something done off of your to-do list while watching. And please give this video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it. That way I know to keep creating content like this. And I really hope to see you guys in the next video. I will give you a little teaser on what is to come next. And I can't wait to see you guys in the next one.